Hello there, welcome back to the channel. This is 8 Bit Driver Guy on the Euro Truck Simulator 2. Pro Mods 2.57, and this time we're not in VR. I've just spent the last hour or so making a fantastic simulator video. I was carrying on from London, because in my last video, if you remember, in virtual reality, drove to London in the Volvo Big Boy, and I've just drove from London. To, um, to Poland. Brilliant video, very detailed, lots of outdoor shots. Gets to the end, saves the game, goes back to OBS. Error. So, uh, yeah, that whole video was lost. You're stuck with this video now. This is where we done. That's the one we're going for now. It's a short journey, 114 miles by land, but we're going over for a ferry over to Poland and then down to that place. Bad the gold zib zib. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm not 100 percent sure, but by the goz. By the goz. Sounds like a great place. Can't wait to get there. Time to hit the road. There's a the trailer I'm taking to buy gold. Very common, popular place. Heard about it loads and always wanted to visit. So, very happy today that I get to go to that place. By the goals. Excellent stuff. I'm brilliant at these um, pronunciations, you know. It's like a secret talent I have. Oh, and there we go. I've still got the, the on screen display disabled. I had it like that from when I was on virtual reality and I've just not put it back. No point. I'm being grumpy right now anyway after losing that last video I made. Right. I always like to have a few videos uploaded and Get scheduled. And then if there's ever a, a, a time where I can't make a video for a day or two, I'm covered. And I'm... I'm at the point now where... I have no more videos uploaded. I needed to make this one today and upload it quick, ready for tomorrow. And then we get the old error. That was a very close drive to the uh, docks, wasn't it? Anyway, let's go to Poland. To... To that place. Gdynia. Sounds Australian. Gdynia. <laughs> uh, but anyway... I'll stop stressing about the uh, the error video. Getting some lovely weather here in Poland. I'm going straight on. This way, I hope. Yeah, back up that way there. I say back up that way. I came down here just a minute ago in the uh, in the error video. <sighs> So here we are in Poland, and we've probably got about 110 miles to go. Very short journey. I'm not going to get a new thumbnail, because I'm in the same truck, in the same place as my last video, so I'm going to use that thumbnail. Because... Did I mention the video I had an error? So... It was deleted. Oh... Good job I've got the heating turned up in my truck. Some of these places have got some 
really difficult um, names to pronounce. I bet they um, I bet if you heard someone from Poland saying these places as well, you wouldn't even think that that's the place that I've just been trying to say. I bet it sounds nothing like what I was saying. Alright, let's not speed. Well, there's a hot air balloon. You can see in the distance. Keep left and then just what you want to be doing in this weather. Surely there's a some kind of regulations in place that stop you from being able to hot air balloon in this weather. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. So yeah, Poland. It's wet. And it's grey. I'm not going to make any any jokes about it being like the missus. That would just be wrong, wouldn't it? And here we go. Hopefully now we're going to get some nice open motorways. Unleash this 750 big horsepower beast. The Volvo big boy with a little trailer. <laughs> it looks so silly with that little trailer. <laughs> uh, here we go. I think on that sign then it said something about Gdansk. I know Gdansk. I know of it and I know how to say it and I know of the place because I'm a big fan of Pink Floyd and I've seen them live quite a few times. Not all together. In the separate versions I've seen David Gilmore who's like the lead singer and the, the lead guitarist from Pink Floyd. He's like running Pink Floyd nowadays. And then I've seen Roger Waters who left Pink Floyd in 1982. But he was like the uh, creative genius behind Pink Floyd. I've seen them all live various times. And um, to all members of the band, like when I saw Roger Waters, I saw the drummer was with him from Pink Floyd, Nick Mason. First time I saw David Gilmore live, Richard Wright, rest in peace, the keyboard player was with him. And um, big fan, big fan, seen him live lots of times. Actually met David Gilmore twice. The second time we couldn't rem remember meeting him in the first time, which... <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, he brought out a DVD, CD set of a tour from his On An Island album that he brought, brought out in about 2005, maybe, around that time. Did a live tour and he brought out a live DVD from Live in Gdansk of the On An Island tour. From a Pink Floyd fan point of view, On An Island, not my favourite. David Gilmore is a brilliant guitarist and has a lovely voice, but his songwriting yeah, not bad. Better than me, obviously, but I mean, I think Roger Waters was the the more creative one on that side of things. Now, do any of my older viewers from the UK remember a programme on Sunday TV in the Marlins called Highway with Harry Seacombe? He used to go around to different churches and different like choir people and sing Jesus is great and Je all that kind of stuff. It was on after like Sunday worship, I think it was called, or songs of praise, things like that. Well, David Gilmore's new stuff from his last two albums remind me of songs that would be on that program. I know, I feel bad saying it. Is one of my claims to fame. I actually feature in the official music video for a Dave Gilmore song. The song is called Tonight, and the video features some live footage of him from when he was performing at a exclusive, um, exclusive concert that he did at a small place. It was like a a tryout 
for his main tour. So it was like a preview screening kind of thing at a small place in Plymouth. Not Plymouth. Brighton, that's the one. And, um, yeah. Oh, sorry, I just thought I saw something from my map there, but no, no, no. Let me just check. It's all going off. I'm thinking I'm hearing the door now and things like that ringing. And, uh, yeah. I'm not saying David Gilmore, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm at Brighton at the little gig. I can't remember what I was saying about it now. I have a dreadful memory. So I'll flick on there. And then I heard someone what sounded like the door. I'm going to watch this back out when I'm editing it and I'm going to be thinking, you was halfway through a sentence there, Paul, about David Gilmore, and then you just stops because you thought you heard the door and then you forgot. <laughs> I'll finish the story off in the description. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on here? Oh dear. Anyway, the claims of fame. It was, f it was in the queue for this preview concert, and there was a man walking around with a camera. So when he walked past, a friend I was with jumped out, going, Ooh. I was like, mm -hmm. and then a while later on YouTube, you know, we see that David Gilmore's new single tonight has been released with an official music video and on the thumbnail is my friend from the night in the queue and when you watch the video back you know my friends did it quite a lot he's um he's in it for a good few seconds on this bit and then it shows me at the side smiling all uncomfortable and shy and then i move off to the side out the way i didn't want to be on camera i didn't know it was for his music video i thought knowing my look at the, at the time i thought this is going to be something they put on the big screen behind him so, and I don't want to be on the big screen in the middle of a concert, so I hid. Turns out they were filming for his music video. But you can still see me in the video for a split second. My friend, he's so lucky. He's in the video, like proper in the video, like woo, and they even used the image of him with his arms up like that in the queue to the concert for the thumbnail. So yeah, you can, as you can imagine, I don't ever hear the end of that. It's getting, it's noisy today in this house. There's no one in. I think neighbours are having work done or something. A few weeks ago where we live, we live um, on a hill going down and it gets quite bendy. Some cars come down here quite quick, not expecting it to be so bendy. And the car came down last week misjudged it too fast on the corner slammed on his brakes locked up the wheels skidded straight and ended up hitting our next door neighbor's wall smashed well it's his car first not the car out the way and then smashed through his wall and then took out his next door neighbor's wall too yeah and um since we've been living here this is not the first time that something like this has happened so at the moment there's there's, there's a lot of drama going on out front over these walls really old houses with old classic walls with that old brickwork and it's costing a lot more to get it sorted out than it would normally because you know they want the wall back the way it was <laughs> oh dear we ain't half having some miserable weather Speaking of Pink Floyd, Nick Mason, the drummer, big, big, big sports car enthusiast. You probably already know this. He's been on um, Grand Tour, things like that. But he's he's big, big. Always has been. As soon as he like made money, first things he was doing was buying sports cars. He's one of them people where like a new Ferrari will come out, and you have to have owned so many Ferraris over the space for so many years and have so much driving experience of a Ferrari to own one. He's one of them who's got all that and gets some and yeah. Get ready to Jealous. Turn 
Roads are quite empty today. I don't think anyone wants to come out driving in this weather. Oh, and here we are at, um, at the place. Bad goals. I'm sure that's the way to say it. Bad goals. There's a slight chance I might be um, pronouncing it wrong. Maybe just the end of the word I'm getting a bit wrong. Bad God. Now for some reason I sound like I'm from America when I say it. I don't even know myself sometimes. I don't know what's going on. Go straight on. Now I know Promods have done quite a lot in Poland because you can tell by the map if you go to the vanilla game Poland's quite empty there's not a lot going on it's not a very condensed map area it's quite open but well, Promods a lot more roads and little towns and things it's like um, the same as what they've done with the UK Get ready to turn right. anyone out there plays right. Truck Simulator Euro Truck Simulator 2 and they've never tried four months then what the hell's going on you need to go and check it out it's free to download just google pro months but there is an option where you can pay and you can download it quicker and easier and i mean you're paying less than a pound and for the work the guys have done it's well worth it check out pro months that was like i uh I had a purpose little promo to squeeze in there, didn't I, about promods? I'm not in any way affiliated with promods. I'd like to be, if they're watching, and would like to affiliate. <laughs> Excellent. Don't think I'm at that stage yet where they're going to be wanting to do things like that with me. <laughs> Say yet. You never know. One day. One day. I've started putting little logos on my thumbnails for some of the equipment I use, just in case. Matt Zuckerberg sees my video and sees the Oculus logo because I'm using the Oculus Rift. That'd be a nice little sponsor deal to do, wouldn't it? He might forgive me then for some of the videos I've made about him on my conspiracy channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, some people think that uh, Matt Zuckerberg's a robot. Because, like, you know, that makes sense. Oh, all of the people from conspiracy videos, they're so funny. Peace on the plane, brother. Oh, yeah. Not a very good reverse job, but it'll do. It's in, that's all that matters. And uh, that's it, that was a rainy, rainy delivery to Poland. Make up for my video that I had an error. I'm so sorry about that, it was a brilliant video as well. But anyway, no more about that. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, um, we can call today's video, Paul discusses Pink Floyd and David Gilmore, forgets what he's talking about halfway through the sentence, then drives, then thinks someone's at his door, realises there's no one at his door, then he remembers what he was saying about Dave Gilmore and completes the end of the story, which at the end of the day was a pointless story anyway about how he appears in David Gilmore's music video for a split second. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, it's always appreciated. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, some videos not like this, some videos not like anything you've seen before, I don't know. Hit that subscribe, um, try to do daily uploads, on Truck Simulator, Euro and American, uh, Scania Truck Driving Simulator, Tourist Bus Simulator, The Bus. And I'm also driving in race games like Awesome Mobilista 2, Project Cars 2, Assetto Corsa, and so on. Oh, well, let's not forget Forza Horizon 5. So if you want to see anything like that, hit that subscribe. I'm going to get going, make myself a nice cup of coffee, and think about the video that I lost. And I will catch you next time.